This is about uh, a Piper boat called Tantler. It's just uh, two years old, 47 feet, with a remarkable amount of things uh, shoehorned into that space. Um, frankly, there is probably as much storage on this, it would seem, as there can be on some 55 to 60 foot boats. That's the experience of a long established boat builder like Piper Boats, who have been going since 1968. Um, <clears throat> this is the well deck underneath the cratch cover at the front. Here you can see there are two glazed panels in the cratch board. Um, both are hinged, which makes it far easier to get the gas in and out instead of having to clamber over the bow. This is the saloon looking in from the front. You can see there's a very cosy space, two comfortable chairs, solid fuel stove. And this is a view looking forwards and you can see there are the two bench seats on a raised area. These um, form a dinette um, of which more in a bit. I'm just panning backwards to show you the whole of the saloon. This is a close-up shot of the <coughs> squirrel solid fuel stove. This also has a back boiler that runs the radiators. And you can see one of the fin radiators down at the bottom left of the picture there. Um, but the central heating is also run by an Eberspatcher diesel boiler. This is the dinette. And here you can see what it looks like with the table up. Perfect for dining. And here's some of the nicer detail that's been put into this boat, this leaded glass cabinet for storage. This is the galley looking uh, towards the stern. There is a good sized domestic cooker in here, considerably larger than the many that you find on boats. Uh, one of the owners was a very keen cook. Uh, granite worktops, of course, and a stainless steel sink and a modern energy efficient 12 volt fridge. Now we approach the bathroom, which is a, a walkthrough right across the boat to optimize the space. Uh, in it, there is a small bath with a shower over, a pump out loo, and um, a basin, as you might expect. And that's to make sure your bathroom stays warm. This is now entering the bedroom cabin beyond the bathroom. Here you have a, a wardrobe. And here is looking back at the double berth, which is a four foot wide by six foot three. This is a wardrobe to give you some idea of the storage, and this is inside it. It's a hanging rail, decent amount of room. And here's another clever little device in the step where the current owners like to store all their footwear. This is now leading into this small aft cabin, the engine below the floor. There's the inverter and the instrument panel. And finally the stern with its taffrail seats and uh, the decorative chimney, that's Tandler.